colors that may change your oh, I'm gonna stay right by your side I'm gonna live to make you smile The rivers they may run And the changes they may come
Good evening to you all, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the beautiful grounds of Alexandria on this splendid spring evening where we join the Bozanovsky and Balassus family for the wedding of their children, Christopher and Demetria. Let's give them a round of applause. Well, behind every bride and groom is a bridal party who've been there from the beginning, supporting them to ensure that this night is one that they will never forget. And it gives me great pleasure now to welcome the first members of our bridal party. They are the very proud parents of our groom. Let's hear a big round of applause for Zoran and Vesna Bozanovsky. And let's keep those applause going now, ladies and gentlemen, as we welcome the equally proud mother and grandmother of our bride. Let's hear a big round of applause for Irene and Dimitra Balassas. Well, it's now time to welcome our groomsmen and our godfather for this evening. Let's hear a big round of applause for Michael, Matthew, Alexander, Stephen and Nathan. It's now time to welcome the lovely ladies, our bridesmaids for this evening. Let's hear a big round of applause for Maria, 
Nectaria and Amy. Well, tonight is very much about our bride and groom, but I think our next entrance may just steal the show. I'm referring to our flower, girl, flower girls and page boys for this evening. So let's hear a big round of applause for Madison, Amelia, Alexia, Jaden, and Hudson. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as we know, a lot has changed over the last few months and weddings are no exception. But I think what our newlyweds have gone through today, nothing will change the significance and importance uh, for their lives and the importance of that sacrament for the start of their journey together. And that's why we're here to celebrate and ensure that this is one that they will never ever forget. And so it gives me great pleasure now to welcome for the very first time as husband and wife, let's hear a big round of applause for Christopher and Demetria Bozanovsky. Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure now to welcome our first speaker to the microphone, the very proud father of our groom. Let's hear a big round of applause for Mr. Zoran Bozanovsky. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I'd like to thank you all for being here. Unfortunately for this coronavirus, it's not the plan we had. Um, it would have been a little bit different to what it is at the moment, but we still have to abide by the uh, rules, the government rules, and um, it's the best we can do. Okay, firstly, I'd like to thank, well, uh, congr congratulate Chris and Demetria on their wedding day. Wish them all the best, and we need a little few more Bosnowskis running around <laughs> by next year. <laughs> yeah, by next year. <laughs> No. Um, yeah, look, with, I'd like, I'm a bit, with my wife, I'd like to uh, uh, welcome Dimmy into our lives, into our family, um, and I'm sure you'll be happy with Chris. <laughs> I think. <laughs> no, no, he's a good boy, mate, I'm, I'm telling you. Uh, second of all, um, I'd like to uh, thank Matthew for being the nunco, kumpari in Greek, um, taking a part in this bridal party, and we hope that this will continue on for many more years. Michael and Chris, they've been together since day one, literally. Um, everything they've done, they've done together. Best man, Michael, thank you for taking part in this uh, being the best man uh, for our uh, for the wedding. Next, uh, the groomsmen. Don't they look all right? <laughs> yeah, <bit. laughs> yeah, Stephen looks all right too. Yeah. <laughs> look, I'd like to thank you for taking part in the bridal party. It's been wonderful uh, all day. Bridesmaids again, looking beautiful. Um, thank you again, page boy, flower girl. Um, Page boys, flower girls, and Irene comes to you. <laughs> Look, we welcome Dimmy into our family. You are welcome. Your mum, uh, Demetria, as well, is all welcome in our family We're with open arms. I'll, again, I'd like to thank everybody for coming, mate, taking the effort to be here tonight. Thank you very much. Let's hear another round of applause for Mr. Zoran Bozanovsky. Well, now it gives me great pleasure to welcome our second speaker for this evening. She's a very proud mother of our bride this evening. Let's hear a big round of applause for Irene Balassas. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for coming today for our wedding for Chris and Demetria. Thank you to Zoran and Vesna. Thank you for the lovely speech. Um, my mum is here today. My family, um, Chris's family, thank you. To Chris, <laughs> thank you for everything. You've been a gentleman every time you came to my place. 
Thank you for being part of my family. You're welcome into my family, 100%. Thank you to the groomsmen, the bridesmaids, everyone who made a special occasion for my daughter. Thank you. Now, to my daughter. <laughs> I'm very, very proud of you. Everything that you've done today, all these years, you're strong, brave, works very hard, had three jobs, did everything, always by my side, and I'm so proud of you. I love you so much, and I love Chris. Chris is wonderful. You are both really good, compatible. Every time that I see you, every time we joke around, our breakfasts, our dinners, it's just lovely being around you. You're a beautiful couple. Bridesmaids, thank you. Groomsmen, thank you. Thank you to everyone. I hope you enjoy today and every day. And yes, that's true. <laughs> Lots of grandkids. <laughs> thank you, everyone. I'd now like to welcome to the microphone our third speaker for this evening. He is the godfather of our groom. Let's hear a round of applause for Matthew Jezefsky. First, I'd like to thank you all for coming tonight uh, to celebrate the wedding of Chris and Dimmy. Um, I'd like to congratulate the parents of the bride and groom for raising such amazing kids and also thanking Christopher and Dimmy for giving me the opportunity to uh, have such an important role in your wedding. And hopefully next time I'm here sitting with you guys, I'll be christening your kids. <laughs> uh, Dimmy, you look really beautiful. Same with the, uh, the bridesmaids. Grusman, you're all right. You're good. Chris, handsome man, always handsome. Um, and yeah, just thank you all for coming to, for this special night and I hope you, all, you guys all enjoy yourselves. Thanks. Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure now to welcome to the microphone our maid of honour for this evening. Let's give her a big round of applause, Maria Karagiannis. Hi. So I woke up at 3 a.m. this morning and rewrote a speech, honestly, six times and ripped it up and thought the best way to speak would be from my heart. Okay, so first and foremost, thanks everybody for coming to celebrate Chris and Dim's special day. Um, sorry, I'm so nervous. Thank you so much for choosing me to be your kumbara. Chris, thank you for choosing Dim to be your life partner. You've honestly picked a one-of-a-kind woman. I've known her for 10 years and she's probably the most determined person I know. And she's very, very loyal to her family and her friends, and she's always stood by me. I wish you nothing but the best in life. I'll be there whenever you need me to be there, even when you don't. <laughs> and love you both very, very much. So thank you, everyone. Well, I'd now like to welcome to the microphone a man with a very important title for this evening, an important role. He is the best man. Let's hear it for Michael Sekolovsky. Thank you. <clears throat> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Michael, and after all these years, it's nice that Chris has finally admitted that I'm the best man. <laughs> but before I start with the customary duty of giving Chris an uncomfortable few minutes, <clears throat> excuse me, it is part of the official duty of the best man to say, Chris, just how lucky you are. You'll be living here today with a wife who is warm, loving and caring. And Dimmy, how lucky you are as well. You will live here today having gained a lovely dress and some killer heels. <laughs> 
I would like to thank Uncle Zoran, Auntie Vesla, and Irene on the wonderful job on raising two beautiful people and how exciting they both look today. What can I say about the, the bridesmaids and the maid of honour? You look very stunning today. To the groomsmen. <laughs> hey, don't start. <laughs> to the groomsmen, well, you boys clean up pretty well. To the page boys and the flower girls, they deserve a special mention today for doing such a great job. To the groom, I've known Chris all my life. Not only is he my cousin, but he's also one of my best friends. We've grown up together. We went to preschool, school, played soccer and cricket together. <laughs> you can add that too. <laughs> to me and my brother Alex, Chris was our other brother. We were inseparable. We were playing Nintendo, slip and slide in Uncle Zoran's backyard, bombs at Roseland's pools, and as all kids would, get in trouble by Bubba. Let me tell you about a time way back when Chris and I were in preschool. Uncle Zoran dropped us off this one day, and Chris, <laughs> Chris and I really didn't want, to, didn't want to be there. Chris used to do this thing. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Chris used to do this thing where he'd cry so much he would vomit. Even at age five, he had perfected this and would vomit at Q, on Q. So he cried and cried and puked. And next minute, we were at home with Baba Mada eating her famous jaffles and jumping on the trampoline. Dim, there is something you need to know. The way to Chris's heart is through his stomach. Good, now you know more. Chris loves a sausage sizzle. This one day, no, you do. Yeah, you do. <laughs> this one day, we're on the cricket field playing for Kings Grove under tens on a hot Saturday morning. When he shouts out to Uncle Zoran in the grandstand, can you give me a saucy sizzle? I mean, Chris, <laughs> you need to be in the game, mate. <laughs> not, worrying, not worrying about the saucy sizzle. So, Dim, when he's in a bad mood, draw up to the nearest Bunnings and get him a sausage sizzle, for God's sakes, seriously. One, huh? Good, please do. One other tip, stay away from fish shops. <laughs> stay away from fish shops. He really doesn't like to smell them, especially the one in Marrickville. He will puke. My childhood is full of so many memories and most of the memories are with Chris. Now, he's your husband, Dim, Dim and I, I hope you really make great memories together as a husband and wife. On behalf of my family and myself, we congratulate Chris and Dim and wish them lots of love, love and happiness. Let's all raise our glass to toast to the wonderful couple. Well, tonight in one way we say our bride and groom have made it. They've overcome particularly over the last few months, some pretty challenging times to be here. But then in another way, we also say the journey is just beginning. Uh, this new life that they're starting together, a wonderful adventure um, that they're embarking on together. I'm sure there'll be more challenges that come, um, come their way, but I think the things that they've learnt throughout this time of staying strong and maintaining the fact that their marriage is the most important thing. I know even with speaking to them in the lead-up to this wedding, they were convinced that they were always going to get married on this day no matter what was happening. And I think if they can keep that attitude and spirit right throughout their entire lives together, they'll, they'll definitely have a successful marriage. And right there that whole time, along uh, by his wife today, has been our groom, who I'd really like to welcome now and ask you all to give a big round of applause for our groom, Mr Christopher Bozanovsky. So I don't really do this often, I don't like speaking as well. So on behalf of my wife and I, I would like to thank everyone in attendance today. It was truly an honour and privilege to be married in the presence of our close family and friends. We hope that you're enjoying the day every bit as much as we have. And uh, we would like to thank you for your kind wishes, gifts and support. Uh, firstly, I'd like to thank my mum and dad for always being there for me with unconditional love and support. Uh, you've allowed me to make my own decisions in life and have been there to pick up the pieces when it's fallen apart. 
I'm very fortunate to have you as my parents, and all I hope is that I've made you proud. I love you both very much. Uh, next to Irene, uh, thank you for your kindness and hospitality. You've welcomed me into your home with open arms, and I'll be forever grateful. I would also like to thank you for giving me permission to take on the role of loving, lover and protector of your daughter, beautiful daughter, and I promise to take good care of her. And of course, do everything she tells me to. No, we'll see. <laughs> I'd now like to thank all the bridesmaids who, are like, we can all agree, look gorgeous today. Um, everything you've done in, prepar in help in preparation for our uh, special day is gone on behind the scenes that no one will really know what you, what you guys did to help. Uh, you've calmed Dim's nerves, um, and I'd just like to thank that you got her to the church on time and in one piece which I was very surprised about. <laughs> well, I got there. <laughs> um, I'd also like to mention a few family members who are no longer with us. Uh, my best man's father, uh, Dim Chet. My grandma, Baba Mara, and my dedo Jifko as well. i uh, just like to mention them. Uh, they've had a big impact on my life and I wish they could have been here. Uh, and best man and nunko, I want to thank you both for accepting the role, being my best man and my nunko, and God, well, Godfather, and for standing by my side today. Uh, I want you to know you're going to have a big part in our future. So <laughs> let's just make sure you know this isn't the end tonight. It, yeah, well, we're going to we're going to try and make a soccer team. Hopefully, they don't play for Liverpool. But yeah. <laughs> so, but anyway, last but not least. To my gorgeous wife, Demetra, words can't describe how beautiful you look today. Seven years ago, someone's cheering. I thought it was just me. Uh, words can't describe how beautiful you look today. Seven years ago, we met by chance, and neither of us would imagine our destinies would be intertwined from that moment on. Seeing you walk down the aisle today was the happiest moment of my life. I feel so lucky to have found someone that not only has my, the same sense of humor as me, but is also beautiful and kind. You have the most gorgeous smile and seeing it at any time of day puts a smile on my face. I don't always make the right decisions in life, but one thing I know for sure, marrying you will never be one of them. I feel honored to be able to stand here with you as husband and wife. I love you with all my heart. I cannot wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Please raise your glass to the love of my life, Demetra. Someone raise the glass. You raise yours. <laughs> you raise yours. I'm going to kiss you. I'm not actually supposed to thank you, but I want to thank Stephen for giving us all lots of jokes after the Bucks night. <laughs> thank you, Ilche, for telling us the stories. And also for t eventually turning up this morning. It was very grateful, I'm very grateful to you. <laughs> you didn't have to do much else, let's be honest. I picked out the suits, I picked out everything, but thank you for turning up. I really appreciate it, I mean, it's, it is a big commitment sometimes. Nathan's gotta come from Wollongong. So, it's a massive, like, no, not Sydney now, now, yeah, there you go. But anyway, I wanna thank you guys as well. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give Christopher another big round of applause. I need your assistance as we count down our bride and groom for the cutting of the cake. So please join me. Let's go. Three, two, and one. A round of applause. Well, ladies and gentlemen, can I ask you all now to raise your glasses to Christopher and Dimitra, wishing them a lifetime of happiness, prosperity and health.
hands on me, buddy. Good hands. Second on the right. On the left. So take 